All right, so now let's look at the parallel axis theorem. This is what the parallel axis theorem equation is, and you should memorize it. Uh, what it is, is this I is going to be the new rotational inertia if we took one of our known rotational inertias about its center of mass. That is that chart that we looked at. Um, and we move the axis of rotation uh, to some perpendicular distance away. And that's what H is. It is a perpendicular distance from center of mass. So if we look at that rod, all right, that we originally had rotating around center, and then we move it so that it rotates around its edge, still total length of L, just this was L over 2 on this side, and this was L over 2 on that side, where this is the total L. So basically we're picking up uh, this object here and moving it and fixing it around this edge point instead of at that center point. Um, and we showed two, the both proofs of that. So now let's use the parallel axis theorem to get the new rotational inertia. All right. So we're trying to figure out the new rotational inertia and let's take the rotational inertia of that rod around its center of mass and that was what we saw for first and that's what we can find on our chart or, and uh, that's 1 over 12 ml squared. Now take the total mass of that rod and multiply it by the distance we move it from the center of mass. So we are moving it um, L over 2 uh, from the center and fixing it that distance away so that it rotates there instead of around the center. So we're going to replace H with L over 2. And that's it. Now we just have to combine them together. Multiply by 3 over 3, and we have 3 over 12 plus 1 over 12 ml squared, and this is 1 third ml squared, and that is exactly what we got on our second integral on the previous video. Much easier that way.